given beta equals 38 degrees, B equals 2.9, and C equals 5.9, solve the triangle. Well, I know that I have a triangle. So let's go ahead and let's figure out how we draw that. Well, I've got beta is the only angle that it gives me, right? And I know it's acute. It's less than 90 degrees because it says it's 38. So we've got that. Now what? Well, I know that I've got one side, which is going to be C. So let's say this is C equals 5.9. And I know that B is going to be where? Well, it has to be across from beta. So here's my B, so it's 2.9. Now when we're doing this, remember to solve it, we need to look at the altitude to determine if this is a legit triangle. Why am I doing that? Well, remember we have side-side angle. We have side-side angle. So we need to know something about B and the altitude or H. A lot of times in your book it's going to be called H. And if you recall, H equals 5.9 sine of 38. So right, so it'd be kind of pretending like we have this little triangle right here on the left hand side. So what I need to do is I need to actually find the value of H. You're going to use your calculator so that you can get an idea of an approximation. And I get 3.6. Now, our rule says once we have the height, we need to compare B with the height. So we said that B is 2.9. The height or the altitude is 3.6. Well, that means that B is less than 3.6. So in all reality, that means that there is absolutely no way that the side is going to reach the next angle, which is angle A. So if that's not possible, what do we know? That means that there is no such triangle. These are some of the hardest ones to do because there's so many reasons and so many steps that you have to go through. The key is you always have to find the height or the altitude to verify that you can even have a triangle before you start working.